Um, well, I just watched a very interesting movie. Y'all, aging is not real, and I need you to repeat after me so that you can stop being assholes, okay? Say it with me. Aging is not real. Skin is not real. Capitalism is not real. Okay? I haven't watched a movie in a really long time, number one, because I don't have money to pay for subscriptions anymore. And I can change out my TV and go back to my brother's TV. They put my they put my TV in here in my room, which has my subscriptions on it. And um, you know, I didn't think I was gonna be here for that long, so I wasn't like, oh, I need to like scrimp and save so like I have money for my fucking vapes because I didn't think I was gonna be here for that long. So I just was like, okay, fine, I'll use my TV and not like my brother's TV, which has the the house subscriptions on it, right? And here I am, and all of my money went out the window, and I even still have a freelance check that I could write in this year right now. But like I said, capitalism's not real, money's not real, and you should be giving me my vapes for fucking free because I'm all of the goddamn energy in the goddamn universe, not just the planet Earth, not just the United States, not just New Jersey, not just Burlington, New Jersey, but... um. Yeah, the entire universe. Okay, I have so much to talk about, but like, let's talk about this movie first. Um, I guess if you guys have any other movie, um, sorry about your subscriptions. Yeah, no problem. Um... Don't you just love how our lives are subscription-based, Alyssa? I mean, you treated me like shit last year, so I don't even know why you talk to me, like, to be honest. Like, I think you should just be like, all hail Alyssa. I bow to Alyssa. Like, give Alyssa whatever she wants. Like, you know, I want to tithe to the church of Alyssa. Like, I think those are, like, the only proper words for you to say to me from now on. Not like, don't you like that? like, 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 you're on a friendly basis with me. Like... Didn't you know I was God last year and, like, was still, like, a bitch to me? I just don't get the logic here. Um, but, yeah, the movie is called – and she's up for refurbishing right now. Do you guys see, see how, like, my – you guys, like, freak out if, like, any little, like, thing on me is, like – you know, shows any sign of aging whatsoever, but like my dad's allowed to age, right? Like Colin is allowed to age, right? Do you think my dad likes aging? No, he doesn't age. He doesn't like aging as much as I don't like aging. Okay. Just want you guys to know that about Colin Farrell. So, um, if you think that I'm allowed to age, don't. If you think Colin's allowed to age, don't. Um, okay. I watched this movie, It's What's Inside, on Netflix today. And if you guys have any other recommendations for me, you know, you just think it. You just, like, think it. Like, oh, my God, this is Alyssa's technology. Something like that. Alyssa needs to see this. And it'll come on my For You page. Okay? So somebody thought that about this movie, and it came on my For You page. And I was like, oh, this looks like an interesting movie. Let me watch it. And what do you know? It's my technology. It's my technology that they're stealing to make a movie about, to make money from, to keep the lights on. Do you see where this is going? How are you keeping the lights on? What is the light? How do you keep the lights on? By paying for what? Electricity. And electricity is what? Energy. And what's energy? 
Alyssa, so who are you paying? You know, it's a circle, it's a circular thing. You're doing it to keep the lights on. You're doing it to keep the energy flowing into your office, essentially, and it's Alyssa's energy. It's like I try to explain things to you and like they like erase my thoughts. Colin's like, I'm sorry, sweetie. I don't want you giving away some of our secrets. I'm like, dad, why do you do that? I'm like, I'm trying to explain it, how circular it is. And then he's like, wipe. Wipe. Wipe it. Wipe. <laughs> Men in black family. Because <laughs> he probably hears it through somebody else. Is your daughter dad? <laughs> He's talking to somebody else. He's getting, he's getting angry. <laughs> oh, my God. So funny. <laughs> he probably really got so mad when I was talking about aging too. <clears throat> oh my god. That guy is so funny. I'm like, Dad, why are you wiping my brain right now? I'm trying to describe it. Oh my god. I know. Anyway, not to say that we don't get angry, we definitely do, okay? So I I'm I'm joking with my father right now. <clears throat> um anyway, that movie I guess was made to warn people, but it was really funny because like in the beginning, okay, so it's this movie about I don't even know what like the real premise is, but it's like a get together of like friends. Like, oh my God. It's like, it's like the craziest premise ever. It's like a get together with friends, <laughs> like right before a wedding. Like, <laughs> like, I mean, you know what I mean? But the, the interesting part about the movie is the technology. And that was me and Gigi. Okay. Um, it's called, it's what's inside. It's a horror and it's on Netflix, and um, basically it's a family film, okay, so it's about me and my family, but it's actually people using my technology that are not in my family, right, so it's like, so it's like a bunch of, it's like a tech firm, and they have this box, and in the box, they basically um, switch the personalities, like, so it's like six friends or something like that, and then they, they just, you know, hook you up with like these things to your head and hook you up to the machine and your personality, your inside. So like the Alyssa, whatever, um, would switch into another body into Colin Farrell's body. Okay. And then Colin would switch into Alyssa's body. Okay. Like that. Um, but so it's like a, but it's like randomized and, um, but the funny thing was, was I didn't know what the premise, I didn't, because like the premise, they said it's like a horror movie, like with friends and a get together before wedding. Like that's literally like what the premise is. It doesn't tell you like what the actual premise is. And before they actually get to the premise, which I just told you, they switch bodies. Um, my technology is obviously already in the movie where like I'm talking, right? Like I'm talking right now on your newscast behind the you know, you're hearing my voice with whatever you're watching coming through the background. You're hearing Alyssa Janello. That's my voice. That's my name, Alyssa Janello. Hello, my name is Alyssa Janello. I am Alyssa Janello. Whoever you're listening to, my name is Alyssa Janello. It's not whoever the empty shell that you're looking at. Okay, my name is Alyssa Janello, and I am God, and I'm I am posting this from YouTube. 
Okay, from the New World Order Princess. Um, New World Order Princess page on YouTube. Okay, so um, and if you make a clone, fucking if, if if there's like a bunch of people like already thinking of like making New World Order Princess pages on YouTube, like just don't. Okay, don't. Like, you guys are, like, so fucking stupid. Like, you just, like, when you do stuff like that, like, you sign up for, like, the worst day of your life. Like, just know that, okay? It doesn't matter if you're 10 years old or 80 years old. If you're listening in and you try to, like, steal my ideas or steal my technology or st- or steal my identity, that's called identity theft, okay? By the way, Margot Robbie, that's called identity theft, okay? You're no longer a clone making... um movies to teach them about the new world order princess because you guys keep failing that every year you are now um trying to you you you're now have stolen my identity going backwards in all of the films that you star as me and that's isn't that isn't that isn't that a um felony to have um stolen my identity and not given me any credit and not giving me any accolades and not giving me any money um, for stealing my personality, identity theft, right? Margot Robbie, um, Amelia Clark, uh, Kirsten Dunst, um, who else are my clones? Jen Lawrence, sorry, my favorite wife. Um, who else? <laughs> Cause I just heard her say, I mean, there's just too many to name, you know, how Jen talks. Um, uh, who else? Rebecca Romaine Stamos. Rebecca Romaine right there. Um, who else is my clone? Who am I leaving out? Anyway, you know, it's pretty much everything is me. Like even like the ugly girls like Anne Hathaway. Um, it's still identity theft, especially if it's like the princess of Genovia, like welcome princess of G- to Genovia. Like I thought it was going to be this year. <laughs> Look at me now. Look at me proving myself right this year. It's so fun, right? Like I usually just the most like, oh, I'm going to get this back and I'm going to get my castle. Da, 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 and, then, da, 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 and then it all happens. But like, no, not this year. And it's sort of been like wonky like that for the last like four years or so four to seven years of my life. So, um, yeah. And you guys are probably like trying to say it's due to aging, right? But what, like, look, it's going to work against you. Backlash, whiplash. If I age, the simulation ages. Okay. So that means you're not going to look 20 at 20 and you're going to age a lot quicker and you're going to have a lot more complications in your life and da, 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 like, you know, um, point blank period people that think that they're my friends or they think they can be friendly with me but like they met me for like a brief period in my life and knew that it was illegal at the time and still went f- forward with it instead of being like uh aren't you god and deserve to be in your castle you know aren't you caught between a rock and a hard place right now um you want to call yourself Alyssa? like okay give all your money to Alyssa. then you know like what are you doing like oh you're the you're the um Like, we get it, Claudia. You are the, what is her name? Childlike Empress. Like, we totally get it, okay? So just give all of your credit to the Childlike Empress and say it out loud with your little mouth, honey. Okay, so anyway, in this movie, you guys, I just, like, ramble. I can't even, like, stay on top of it because you guys piss me off so much, so fucking much. Um, Hopefully money won't matter by this time next year, and I'm not joking. Last of Us, ho, like for realsies, okay, Alyssa, we hear you. It's your ex-husband, Ryan Trainer, because I don't know if we're married anymore because we're not doing a good job. I mean, you're on tour, Ryan Trainer. like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, like, I don't know, I already told you not to go on tour, and you went on tour anyway, and your sister looks like a completely different person, and of course, I feel like you're my family, but like, what are we doing? You know, what are we doing here, Ryan? Um... So, um, Ozempic, hey, Ozempic, get your waist back, Ozempic. The 
only thing that matters is having my waist. I think it's called the Hunger Games. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, seriously, what the fuck was that movie? My walk-in made an appearance, a special appearance in that movie, and then they, tr then they put him behind bars. You guys are so funny. You still think, like, that's possible, don't you? Isn't it funny? Like, it's so funny. Like, you guys, okay, so it's like you're listening in, and you're like, okay, so, like, she's the demon inside of us that, like, gives us, uh, this is the premise of the movie, that, like, gives us our personality, and, like, she wants us to switch bodies so that we feel safe, so, like, let's write it into a movie and like, let's take credit for it. And, you know, let's see who wrote the movie. Let's see who took credit for my, for my technology. Um, cast. I don't want the cast. I want to see who directed it. Greg Jardine. But who wrote it? It's what's inside. Green writer. Is that what you like Hollywood people call it? Like a screenwriter? Okay, so he wrote it. He didn't okay, so he he didn't just direct the movie, he also wrote it. Um co-starring Greg Jardine. Bravo, Greg, on listening in to me for the last few years and um, attempting to write a movie like sort of covering my stories and like like sort of like talking about my technology in like a really twisted fucked up way that like serves you because like you want to harness it because like you want to be in like probably a good looking bro's body right like and then or like you want to like trap my walk in in a good looking bro's body and then like have him arrested and put him behind bars like you did in your movie right like because it's all about you Greg Jardine right is it all about you oh my god I'm so excited for you Greg so happy for you it's literally all about you okay so anyway, um, I'm pretty sure the movie's being rewritten right now because I'm literally talking about it. So, you know, enjoy being terrified of your own fucking work, Greg. So great working with you, by the way. And um, let's see. Let's see. Can we see how much it's what's inside? We probably can't see what he made for the movie. Can we see that? Greg Jardine salary? I don't know. Is it called a salary? I don't really know. Oh, what do you know? He he's on Reddit. Do you guys have any questions? I'm I'm taking Hi, I'm Greg Jardine, the director, writer, and editor of It's What's Inside because I'm that talented and I'm not stealing Alyssa's thoughts or, you know, I like her actual technology um to like you know, try to further my career or anything or like make myself look really smart and special. Like what inspired you, Greg, to write this movie? Was it Alyssa Janello or was it something inside of you that was a different energy than Alyssa Janello? Like I'm really curious. I'm so super curious. Am I short circuiting you? Because I feel like you're going to have a panic attack or like a heart attack or like something like that right now. Because I'm saying, I'm literally saying this out loud using my mouth and recording it. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Um, how much? Okay, so I didn't think I could like... Paying 17 million for Greg Jardine's psychological thriller. Wow, Greg, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. What are you going to do with all of it, Greg? I mean, it's not like I'm from Men in Black or anything, or I'm the one molecule and all of your ideas come from me and you just steal all of my ideas and just say it's your own and then put it on Reddit. Isn't that amazing? It's so great. <laughs> 
Uh, Alyssa, I hope you know what you're doing before you post this one. He's kind of a big name. I mean, I'm pretty sure my dad's Colin Farrell, so I don't know who you're talking to. Um, but anyway. I don't even, I've never even heard of him before. Have you, Jake Gyllenhaal? Have you heard of Greg Jardine before? And I didn't really recognize anyone in his movie from our family. Did you, Jake Gyllenhaal? Who also comes from um, director and writers. Uh, his parents are directors and writers as well. So I'm not really sure if you know who you're dealing with, Greg Jardine, who's basically a nobody. But I'm saying his name out loud a million times, right? Um, so there's like a lot of jealousy for like Hayden Christensen in that movie. Okay, so what I was going to say was they're switching out, switching in and out of um, these bodies, these nobody, these nobody actors' bodies um, in the movie before they even got to the box, and that's why I thought it was literally hilarious. Because the movie was about the movie before it was even about the movie, okay? Um, like, the main guy in the movie um, was basically Hayden, and then Jake jumped in, and Jake was like, well, then the girl was like, oh my god, I'm dating Hayden. And then um, my best friend, Sue Ling Braun, jumped into her body and was like, I will take care, take it from here. And then she was like, wait, I think it's illegal for me to be dating Hayden as well. So like, we got to like filter this out. And then um, Jake Gyllenhaal took over the body and, and Hayden was just like, I'm just here because like, I literally miss my wife. And like, you know, we're having like a FaceTime, like a family FaceTime, because that's what we're used to doing. Hi, Hayden. Um, but um, I just turned into Alejandro there. <laughs> it's funny. Um, but yeah, so Jake Gyllenhaal ended up taking over that body and that all happened before the box and like the premise of the movie where like they can like switch bodies like with this box or whatever of technology. And of course, like the ugly girl like wins and she is, she like gets into like the hot blonde model chick's body and like takes over the world, you know, um, because like that's like their fantasy and everything. Um, that's like, uh, Ezra Miller's girlfriend's fantasy and everything. I don't even know her name cause she's that important to me. Um, yeah. So good luck with your career, Greg, and good luck with your health and good luck with your family life and, um, good luck with your friend group and, um, sure that everyone in Hollywood is really proud of you and happy for you that you decided to write that movie and say that it came from your own thoughts and not give me any credit or money. I mean, $17 million could, could buy a few vapes and, um, could buy a few bottles of wine, pretty sure. Um, so yeah. Ryan said, um, fuck people, fuck people get downloads. So I think that's what we're, that's what we're all about. I mean, that movie's already out, out of, out of date. According to Alyssa's technology, that's Dave Filoni. I don't know if you guys have heard of Dave Filoni, but he's like, like a really brilliant, like Star Wars director who like also stole like a lot of my money and my ideas and like literally conversations from me and Hayden. Like it was literally like a conversation from me and Hayden in like the um, Ahsoka scene and but yeah, like, that's cool. That's totally cool. Just like give the money to like a little doll named Rosario Dawson. I'm sure she can, you know, get a lot of makeup for that money and everything. Um, a lot of facials, a lot of skin tightening. But yeah, that's totally cool. But anyway, that movie is extremely out of date technology already. As you could already tell, there's people switching in and out in the beginning of the movie. The the movie's already rewriting itself. I already told you that. And due to my words, uh, due to everything that I'm saying and nothing that Greg Jardine on Reddit is saying, and you better believe my energy will stand up for me. Um, yeah. So Netflix better be redirecting your checks to Alyssa Janello. 
um, you know, as of today, that as of yesterday, as of all time, it's there. It, it, I'm God. It all comes from me. And, you know, so, um, um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh yeah. So we're just going to like, oh yeah. So, so the, they're basically, they're switching the demon inside in that video. And like, ov- obviously it goes wrong and stuff. And like the ugly girl wins because he's really ugly. Greg Jardine's also very ugly. So like he probably like is on like the ugly people's side and he thinks like ugly people have a chance just because they're ugly or whatever, like something like that. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that none of this matters and I can go home at any second. And, um, you know, you guys keep saying you don't need money. You have a nuclear bomb when I didn't never ask for a nuclear bomb, nor do I want a nuclear bomb. I want my castle and I want to be put in my castle. So that's completely different, isn't it? Those are two completely different things, aren't they? Is my dad sitting in silence because I don't hear anything anymore so that he can listen in? Oh my God, are men in black in the room? Are men in black going to walk in the room because you can't mind your own goddamn business? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Men in black are going to walk in the room. Isn't that fun for you? Um, yeah. So anyway, um, the body swapping mystery, (laughs) it's such a mystery, Rion, isn't it? Oh my God. Who are we talking to, Rion? Okay. So, um, yeah, it's now it's going to be called soul swap. Okay. My sweetie, it was called demon swap before, right? We were swapping demons from the inside and that's what the whole movie's about. And we've been doing that for like our entire lifetime, right? Um, now it's going to be called soul swap. And I already told you what the soul is, didn't I? What's the soul guys? Does anybody from the class want to answer? What is the soul? That's right. It's the visible, visible part you're looking at right now. This part. Okay. You call it in human terms, the human body. Yes, you do. This is called the human body. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, it's also called the soul. Okay. Like look at the Lyran, look at the, um, draconian, Look at the, um, whatever that, that, those are all the soul pieces. Oh, did you guys see that? Boop. Those are the, all of, all of your soul pieces. Yes, they are. Good job, class. So guess what? That makes the human suit. It also makes it the soul. Okay. So, um, I mean, if that was a warning to humanity, I'm pretty sure we've been saying that for like a really long time about like swapping and like pulling energy through and stuff like that and that I think you've just been listening in to me I mean who who wants 17 million dollars right when you can have like Alyssa's golden energy so we're just gonna suck that back from you right we're just gonna suck that right back from you um you guys want me to talk about the Hayden Christensen freak out which I'm not really sure if that really happened or not but we took all of Hayden Christensen's magical Alyssa juice back from him because he's not coming forward. I mean, that probably, I mean, I, that definitely happened. We, we did take all of Hayden's golden ray from him. Um, and he's sitting inside of me, but he like freaked out in the movie about it. He's like, where's my money? Where's my money? Um, did that really happen in real life with Hayden? Did he have a moment of shock and terror? Um, he cries out. Remember, he was he cries out to me. So I just don't. I I I don't know. Like I think you. I think you guys heard him. Like he was like being possessed by the dragon, and like that's why he was like afraid to come forward and stuff. I think that's an excuse, and I think that you can like trust me to protect you. Um, it's not like I'm protecting you. It's more like my unconditional love kind of like calms you down. So it's more like that. If you want to know, like, if you want to know more about my technology and like write more movies about it and like steal more of my money. So like I can call you out on YouTube and like make you look like the gigantic stick in Hollywood and like make everyone literally hate you. No problem. Not a problem. Um, so 
Um, yeah, if you want to write me a check for 17 million, Greg Jardine, that would be great. Thanks so much.